Hi, it's been a couple days since the 18 release of the Houdini products and already side effects have made a great job to introduce their futures. We saw uh, the leaders in Tagma and Rohan made their best. So, if you didn't saw their tutorial yet, which I think you have did, go check them. Especially the Pyro series for Mortis. So let's jump in to the app file. To be honest, I'm not adding that much. Mortis from uh, Antigma already explained the new futures, but there are a couple things to discuss. What happened to the Presoft input, velocity update, and what about custom velocity. So, this is a simple sourcing, just a sphere, pyro source, attribute noise, point velocity, volume rasterize, and adding some even extra current noise to my source. Okay, so about the uh, pre solve input, as you can see, let me jump into the, this network. We have now four inputs one is for the object, one is the for advection, one for the sourcing, and the new name it one forces. We used to have this as uh, under. Uh, volume velocity. Okay, so we use to add that bounding box as uh, the gas reserve fluid dynamic. Okay, so now they've moved it under solving. You can find it here advanced resizing. Advanced resizing. So you have the same uh, futures, reference fields, pending, and if you could add an extra fields. This is okay. So this for the bounding box. What else? Okay, so now for the forces. As you can see, if we jump in and uh, into the uh, the pyro subsolver, we have this node. Wire gas microsolvers here to apply forces on the pyro sim or other dyma dynamic effects. So you could add your custom uh, gas fields, your new collisions, as you may see here. If we unlock. Uh, allow editing of content, go under stop network and you could try a collision volume source here. Okay, it's up to you. Whatever you want. So this is my custom velocity. I'm initializing this uh, velocity. Activate that, use this as a reference, adding some tweaks to my velocity and this is this is it where to add it. Okay, so link that to the second input. It's volume for collisions. And directly you get access here. Create volume. Source, link that to the first input. And change it to the second context geometry. And here you could add that velocity velocity and you get it also you could add it here as a sourcing merge it with the source or you could directly link that as a forces if you attempt to use the dog instead of the this uh, sub solver okay as you can see here you could add it volume source source you could add it sourcing or in forces both ways are working perfectly okay so let's jump into the ui now we have this export thing so it's extremely useful we have this convert to vdb if you're planning to use the uh, karma engine you should do it okay so and we have this look thing if you create a custom look of your pyro using this look, you could create a matching material from it. Easy way, what else? Oh, by the way, you don't need to create that ground plane anymore. You will just go to boundary conditions, treat as close below. Or you, can do, you could choose any other region you want to be closed. So, 
use the file cache or uh, rob input or whatever you want to export your fluid now we jump into the lobs okay so if you want to import volumes into lobs use this volume node volume reference that uh, the primitive path and use the file path to add that file cache okay so here I'm adding grid with that jump in quick frames okay so create a camera material library to create a material for my for the grid and smoke assign that material adding some lights here I'm using dome light with a basic texture merge that in my scene and here we have karma node so change it from perspective to camera so this is it guys I hope you find it useful if you have any question please feel free to ask me I will include the project file in the description field and thanks again see you soon inshallah